this is your Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to see homogeneous differential equation. So how to solve homogeneous differential equation. Okay. So we are given a differential equation which is homogeneous. Homogeneous in the sense, we have dy by dx equals to some f of x comma y by g of x comma y where f of x comma y and g of x comma y are the homogeneous functions. of same degree in x and y. Okay. So, we have considered this, right? So, from this, we'll have dy by dx equals to some 1 by 2, which is constant in 2. LCM of x and x, x squares, x1, x into x, x square x into x is x square. Okay. So, you will get y x plus y square. So, you are having f of x equals to or f of x comma y sorry. f of x comma y equals to y x plus y square and g of x comma y equals to x square. The degree of f of x comma y is 2 and the degree of g of x comma y is 2. Okay. So, both the functions have same degree in x and y. So, we can see that the given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation. Okay. Since the differential equation is of the form dy by dx equals to some f of y by x or y prime equals to f of y by x. Okay. You can see y by x plus y by x is square. Sorry, y squared by x is square. Which is of the form y prime equals to f of y by x. If our given differential equation is of the form y prime equals to f of y by x, then we can use the substitution y equals to ux or x equals to uy to reduce the given differential equation into variable separable. Okay. After reducing the differential equation to variable separable, then it is easy to find the general solution for the given differential equation. Okay. Since we are given y prime equals to f of y by x, so we can use the substitution y equals to ux or x equals to u y. We'll see. So, given differential equation is two into dy by dx equals to y by x plus y square by x square. Consider it as equation one. Now put. y equals to ux. Okay. We will differentiate on both sides. We will get dy by dx equals to we know that uv whole prime equals to u prime v plus v prime u. So ux whole prime will be u dash x plus x dash u which is nothing but du by dx plus dx by dx. So, you get dy by dx equals to 
x into du by dx plus u into dx by dx is 1. So we have dy by dx equals to x into du by dx plus u. Okay. Now we'll consider the given differential equation. becomes 2 into since we have dy by dx equals to x into du by dx plus u which is equals to u by x so you can write it as u by x plus u by x whole square okay now this becomes y by x we know that y equals to ux by x plus ux by x whole square. Okay. This is equals to u plus u square. Okay. So we have x into du by dx plus u equals to u plus u2 Sorry, u square by 2. x into du by dx equals 2. Now take this u2 right hand side and you'll get u plus u square by 2 minus u. So you can write it as x into du by dx equals 2. u plus u square minus 2u divided by 2. This becomes x into du by dx equals to u minus 2u is minus u. So you will get u square minus 2u minus minus 2u plus u is minus u by 2. Okay. So you will get 1 by u square minus u into du equals to 1 by 2 into x into dx. You can write it as One by u into u minus one into du equals to one by two into one by x into dx. Now integrating on both sides, yet one by u into u minus one into du equals to one by two into since one by two is constant, so you will take it. Outside the integral. Integral 1 by x into dx. Okay. So this is the form 1 by. Okay. So you are having 1 by u into u minus 1. 1 by u into u minus 1. So you can write it as. 1 plus u minus u by u into u minus 1. In the numerator, we are trying to write in terms of u minus 1. So, we have added plus u and minus u. If you cancel these two, you will get 1 which remains the same. Okay. So, you can write it as u minus u plus 1 by u into u minus 1. So, this equals to u. Now take minus common from these two terms and you get minus of u minus 1 by u into u minus 1. Okay, now you can replace 1 by u into u minus 1 by u minus u minus 1 by u into u minus 1 into du. 
which is equals to 1 by 2 integral 1 by x into dx. Okay. Since since integral 1 by x dx equals to log mod x so you will get 1 by 2 into log mod x plus log log c or you can apply formula later okay Let's see what we are going to get in the RHS. Then we can decide the constant. Whether you can write C or log C. Okay. So this can be written as. Since you are having two terms. Consider it as two terms. U as one term and minus U minus 1 as another term. Then you will get U by U into U minus 1 into DU minus integral. U minus 1 by u into u minus 1 to du which is equal to 1 by 2 into integral 1 by x dx. Okay. So u u gets cancelled. u minus 1 u minus 1 gets cancelled. So finally you will get integral 1 by u minus 1 into du minus integral 1 by u du equals to 1 by 2 integral 1 by x dx. Okay. So, we are also having the formula integral f dash of x by f of x into dx equals to log mod f of x. Okay. Or integral 1 by ax plus b into dx equals to 1 by a into log mod ax plus b. Okay. Since you are having 1 by u minus x, if you want to apply this formula, consider f of x equals to u minus 1. Then f dash of x will be 1 minus the rate of constant is 0. So you will get 1. So you are having f dash of x1 by f of x u minus x which is of this form. So which is equal to log mod f of x. f of x means u minus 1. So you will get log mod u minus 1. Or, or if you want to try this formula then you will get 1 by. Now compare this. Okay. Compare these two. You will get. 1 into u plus okay a x plus b. So here the variable is u and here is x. Okay. So a equals to 1 and b equals to minus 1. So you will get 1 by a is 1 log mod a x. a is 1 x is u b is minus 1. So, finally, you will get log mod u minus 1. Okay. You can apply any of these two formulas. So, we will get log mod u minus 1 minus. We know that integral 1 by x dx is equals to log mod x. Since you are having variable u, so you will get a log mod u equals to 1 by 2 into log mod x. See, you are having everything in terms of log. So, our constant will be plus log c. Okay. Okay. Since we know that log a minus log b equals to log a by b and a log b can be written as log b power a okay and 
log a plus log b will be log a b. So now we are going to apply these formulas. So if we consider it as log a minus log b, you will get log a by b. That is log mod u minus 1 by u equals to. Now apply this formula here. You will get log mod x power 1 by 2. Okay. Let it be. Plus log c. So you will get log mod u minus 1 by u equals 2. So you can write it as a power 1 by 2 can be written as square root of a. Then x power 1 by 2 can be written as log mod square root of x plus log c. So here you are having log a plus log b. Log a plus log b is log a b. So this equals to log c into root x or mod anything we can write like this okay so we have log u minus 1 by u equals to log c root x if log a equals to log b then a equals to B. So finally you will get U minus 1 by U equals to C into square root of X. Okay. Since we are having in terms of U in the left hand side and in terms of X in the right hand side. So what we are going to do is we will replace U. Since we have applied U Y equals to U X. From this you will get x equals to y which implies y sorry u equals to y by x. Now we will replace u equals to y by x. So we will get y by x minus 1 by y by x equals to c into square root of x. So this becomes y minus x by x divided by y by x equals to c root x. Okay. x gets cancelled or you can you can write it as y minus x by x into x by y which is equals to c into root x. So x gets cancelled. Finally you will get y minus x by y equals to c root x. Okay. I'll write it here clearly. y minus x by y equals to c root x. Or y minus x equals to c root x into y is the general solution of the given differential equation. Have seen a problem in this video hope you will understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye